If you are a software engineer in Canada, then this is how much you will be able to earn. Some of the top colleges in Canada offering computer science related courses include Which, at this time, the recession fears are real and a lot of people in the tech industry are losing their jobs. What's up YouTube? It's Savant here. Welcome back to my channel. So software engineering in Canada. This is one of the most requested topics on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram page. And why not? After all, software engineering or just tech jobs in general are the hottest jobs on the market both in terms of a really high salary and also because of the glamorous lifestyle of people working in the tech industry. And this topic is really close to my heart as well because I also work in the tech industry as a software engineer in Canada. And if you also want to know about software engineering as a career in Canada, then this video is all you need. We'll talk about everything starting from why software engineering is a really good career choice in Canada. How can you become a software engineer? What are some of the best universities and the best colleges that offer software engineering related courses in Canada, how much will it cost you if you want to study any such courses in Canada and of course how much can you expect to earn as a software engineer working in Canada and all the different benefits and the perks that come along with it. So all this and a lot more is coming up in this video but before we begin please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because this is the best way that you can support my channel and help me reach more number of people because if you hit that like button then YouTube will show this video to a lot more number of people people and then all those people will also be able to benefit from the content that I post. With that being said, let's start this video. So first of all, why should you opt for software engineering as a career, especially in Canada? So the very first and presumably the biggest reason for a lot of people is that software engineering pays really well. Software engineering related jobs are one of the highest paid jobs in Canada. Whether you decide to become a front end engineer, a back end engineer, full stack engineer, a data engineer working in the data science domain or a DevOps engineer working on the infrastructure side. Whatever domain of software engineering you choose, you will certainly get a really good compensation package if you decide to work as a software engineer in Canada. We will talk more about this topic later in this video and the salary numbers that I will share with you will definitely blow your mind. So stay tuned for that part. The second reason why you should become a software engineer in Canada is because of the close proximity to USA. Now, because Canada is next to the United States, a lot of tech companies that have their headquarters in USA or that have originated in America tend to hire a lot of employees from Canada. And this creates a big opportunity for all the software engineers who are present in Canada who have a Canadian work permit or a PR or citizenship because this opens a lot of opportunities and a lot of doors to them. And because of this, a lot of software engineers who have always dreamt of working in the Silicon Valley area in USA get that opportunity to make that shift and transfer to America just because of its proximity to Canada. Number three, and this one goes without saying, every single industry that is out there in Canada, in America or anywhere in the world will require and does require software engineers in one form or another. And as time goes on and more industries become automated, their processes become automated, technology adoption increases and they start using technology even more to solve the modern day problems. The demand for software engineers will keep on increasing. So this means that software engineers will presumably never run out of job or out of work to do. And another reason why you should opt for software engineering in Canada and this one by the way is my favorite reason and that is that there is low barrier to entry to become a software engineer. Gone are the days when you needed to have a software engineering degree or a master's degree from a really good university in order to get a really good tech job. These days, even if you belong to a completely different background, even if you are from medical sciences or some other background that has nothing to do with computer science, even then, if you are willing to take up certifications, if you're willing to attend some boot camps or just willing to learn how to write code, you will certainly be able to get a really good job as long as you have the skills for it. It doesn't matter what degree you have or what background you have. So I'm sure now you have a little bit of an idea about why software engineering as a career is here to stay and why it is very important that you pay attention to it and you understand what the market demands. But before we proceed, it is also extremely important and equally important to understand the recession scenario and the layoffs that are happening in the tech industry. Because at this time, the recession fears are real and a lot of people in the tech industry, a lot of software engineers are losing their jobs, even if they have worked at that same company for eight or 10 years or even more. So so if you are planning to find a software engineering job in the next one or two years, then this will certainly impact you as well. And you will find it a little more difficult and challenging to find a tech job, a software engineering job 
in this current scenario. Now, even though some of the biggest tech companies in the world, including Amazon, Google, Facebook, or Meta, etc., have all laid off tens of thousands of employees in the last few months, it is really important to understand why these tech companies are laying off employees and how will this impact you and how long this thing will last. Now, the key thing to remember here is that the tech companies are preparing for the future. Over the last many years, the tech companies have made a lot of money. They've hired so many people over the last few years to do jobs that may not necessarily generate profits in the near term or in the foreseeable future. Now, even though this is important work that these people were doing, whether they are software engineers or data scientists, etc. However, it was not translating into profits for the company. It was just not bringing in the money. And now since we are heading towards a recession, these companies want to focus on profitability and that's why they've laid off thousands of people. But what does this mean for you? Should you get discouraged because of all these layoffs and just not pursue a career in software engineering? The answer is no. You should not get discouraged because this is not permanent. These layoffs are a temporary thing because of the recession scenario, because these companies have hired like crazy in the last few years and in future, once everything normalizes in a couple of years, these tech companies will start hiring again. They will become even more profitable. They will have new projects for you to work on and their profit avenues will also increase in the future. And as I said before, as more and more industries will become automated and they will move towards tech adoption and automation, there will definitely be a lot more number of jobs in the future. And of course, the technology and the tools that people use will keep changing and you will have to evolve with that over time. And as long as you're learning new skills and new technologies and you're really good at your work, you will never be out of job. Okay, so now let's quickly go over how can you become a software engineer in Canada. Now, as I said before, there is no formal education required, at least in today's time, where a lot of companies actually value your skills a lot more than your formal degree or your education background. So in today's time, you can actually do some online certifications or take courses on Udemy, Coursera, Skillshare, etc. and even use free resources such as YouTube to learn how to code and work on your own projects in your free time and be ready to showcase your work and your skills in front of recruiters who are out there looking for people just like you who know how to code. So these were some of the informal ways of learning how to code and how to become a software engineer. But other than this, if you want to get some formal education, then there are a lot of colleges and universities that offer formal professional courses on how to become a software engineer or a software developer in Canada. Now, some of the best universities in Canada that are reputed for software engineering or this specific domain include University of Toronto, McGill University, University of Waterloo, University of Alberta, and University of British Columbia. There are so many other related degrees as well that you can take up. For example, if you do a computer engineering degree or a bachelor's in computer science, all these degrees are equally good and they will help you get the right skills that you need to become a software developer or a software engineer and work as a professional software engineer in Canada. And then if you want to do a graduate degree or a master's degree, then there are so many different specializations in all these three domains, software engineering, computer engineering, computer science. So you can choose a course depending on your interest and the specialization that you want to do. Now, in case you don't want to go to a university to get a full degree, you can also opt to go to a really good college in Canada. Some of the top colleges in Canada offering computer science related courses include Sheridan College, Humber College, Seneca College, Conestoga College, etc. And these colleges offer a variety of really good software related courses such as software development, mobile application development, computer programming, computer systems technicians, etc. So one thing is for sure that if you want to learn how to code and want to build a career in software engineering or in this computer science domain, then you're not at all limited by the number of options that you have to learn how to code and to gain those technical skills. Whether you want to get formal education through a university or a college, or if you want to just take up some online certifications or even watch YouTube videos for free that will teach you how to code and how to take up some really good coding projects that will help you enhance your coding skills. Now, the next natural question is how much will it actually cost you to study software engineering in Canada? So if you want to take up a bachelor's degree in software engineering, computer engineering or computer science, then you can expect to pay around $130,000 all the way up to $250,000 for the entire four-year degree. 
This is a wide range because the cost of studying depends a lot on which university you choose and which province you live in. Now obviously if you want to study at one of the top universities such as University of Toronto or University of Waterloo, then the cost of taking up any of these degrees at these universities will definitely be on the higher end of this range. Now similarly if you want to take up a master's course in computer engineering or software engineering then it can cost you anywhere from $30,000 all the way up to $70,000 depending on the duration of your course and the university and the province that you go to. Now, on the other hand if you don't want to get a full degree and you just want to do a diploma course whether it's a UG diploma or a postgraduate diploma you can expect to pay around $16,000 all the way up to $25,000 per year again depending on the course and the college that you choose. Okay so now let's finally talk about the part that most of you guys have been anxiously waiting for and that is how much does a software engineer earn in Canada. If you are a software engineer in Canada, then this is how much you will be able to earn. So if you are a fresher and are just starting out your career as a software engineer, then you can expect to earn anywhere between $50,000 all the way up to $100,000 per year, depending on the company that you work for. Now, if you work for a smaller company in your initial years, then chances are that your salary will be on the lower end of that spectrum. However, I've also seen people make over $100,000 per year right out of school just because they're working for a big tech company. Now, obviously, as you become more experienced, and you get promoted to more senior levels and maybe become a manager someday then you can expect to earn between hundred thousand dollars all the way up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per year again depending on the type of experience you have the skills that you possess and the company that you work for this range depends a lot on the type of company that you work for for example if you work for a US tech company or an American tech company then you will get a significantly higher salary as compared to working for a Canadian tech company and even if you work for a US company but instead of working from America you work from Canada and even if you do the exact same job in Canada you will be paid a lot less as compared to working and living in America and working for the same company in the exact same role. Also note that this range that I've given is only your base salary. Now a lot of tech companies in America and also in Canada offer a yearly bonus and some tech companies also offer stocks or equity to its employees. And for some of the big tech companies such as Google, Facebook or Mera or Amazon etc. Your total stock based compensation can be even higher than your total base salary for the year which is definitely crazy and that's where the big money is made. Another big reason why a lot of people actually want to take up software engineering as a career or want to work in the tech industry specifically is because of all the additional benefits and the perks that come with being a software engineer or being in the tech industry. Whether it's the opportunity to work completely remotely or the unlimited vacation policy of these companies, the really cool office spaces or the free food offered to the employees by these tech companies tech companies are the best when it comes to office culture and employee experience. And these are just some of the benefits that you get when you work in the tech industry in Canada. There are so many other benefits that I'm not able to cover in this video. If you want to watch a detailed video on all the benefits offered by tech companies to its employees, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make a video for you. So hopefully by now I have convinced you that Software engineering is a really good career option to pursue in Canada. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything that we've discussed in this video. You can also reach out to me on Instagram at shivansingla119 and I'll be happy to answer all the questions for you. Also before you go please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos about studying and working in Canada and I'll see you guys in the next video.